Well, welcome back to the channel guys. Still in Avonmouth and I've got to say this is one massive industrial and I mean massive. I've been on some in my life but this is huge and every business here takes up loads and loads of square footage. So we're just going to have a little look on the way back at a couple of businesses as we're heading back to the car. So we got um, Arnold Laver. It's open to the trade and the public. And it is softwood, hardwood, sheet materials, joinery products, landscape and fencing. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little walk down here. No signs or gates yet, so this is obviously publicly accessible. And then what we do when we get down here, we'll have a little look-see, see if we can see any forklifts or lorries, whatever. It's right next door to another massive firm that does insulation. So, obviously the gate here is padlocked. Now, although there are no signs, it is clear because of the lack of footpath that's accessible that it wouldn't be advisable to go in there. So, we'll just give you a little shot of the massive racking at the back with all the timber on. So, they've obviously got a, a high lift high lift um, forklift to get to the top of those things so this is one of the fillers doing the bins guys come out with his barrier down I don't know if that was a signal to me to, to keep out so yeah guys just emptying or parking up a bin at the moment so we can see the the, the high reach forklift at the back there but it's sort of hidden um, behind the stuff with the white plastic sheeting on so not a huge amount to see as is always with some of these big places everything's happening at the back and there's obviously always gates and stuff so you can't get by so um, he's come out to have another look just to make sure I'm not coming in which is fine because I have no intentions of but, uh, Mr. Forklift going about his duties. So we're going to drop it there, guys. Pick it up if anything happens. Don't know if you can see as far as the back. That looks a bit interesting, so I'm going to check out because there is a like a roof area with netting on it and a windsock, which sort of suggests to me that it could be a helipad we'll have to see if we can get there not sure we're going to be able to do it today because time is starting to go against us now and we do want to get up to um i forgot the name of the police station we're going to but we are going to a police station next so i'll tell you what we're going to do we'll have a quick scan of the insulation place again high racking higher the racking obviously the more space you can save uh, customer collections, goods inwards. What, can I ask why you're filming in there? You can ask, mate, by all means. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you filming in there? Because <laughs> I'm interested. Oh, right. Um, I'm doing a story on the area. Right. Just filming different businesses. No um, problem. As you can see, I won't go no, any no, no. further than I'm allowed to. No, um, no, I was hoping to see the, I don't know what you call that for, if the high reacher. Uh, combi. Combi, that's the one. Um, I was hoping to see that in action, but obviously it's getting towards the end of the yeah. day now. So, um, yeah, just, I've not been down here. I'm, I'm still wowed by the size of the whole place. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably going to... was years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been down to the new ponds. I don't know if, um, so if you go out here and turn left, it's, it's, you come oh, to right a dead end. The where they're building the new Hinkley Point connection yeah. place, they're having to move all the frogs and the toads. So yeah, they're building new ponds. That's 
Well, they, what they do is they build the ponds, let them settle, and then as they start to build on their home terrain, they will naturally migrate to a to another area. So, um, yeah, but it's huge down there. I mean, there's, there's going to be some big stuff. The service I did is great. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even notice that was a shop at first, um, but I've given the burger van a little bit of business. You YouTuber? Just, yes. Yeah. 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 One you? of the what older people things um, are similar sort of. I would say similar. Yeah. Because I I try and cover other things as well. Yeah, because um, you get the ones that go around us to any sort of companies, sending a drone up and seeing what sort of reaction they get out of people. I do within. like to get the interaction. Now this guy's a credit to the company. Are you security, sir? No. no You're not. You no, just no, we don't have well. on, on, on yeah, site so security or What I like. Is people who come out, you're obviously you you need to know because yep. you work here. So yep. from, yep. from a security point of view, I like to tell you what I'm doing. I was hoping to see the what was it called again? Combi. The combi working because yeah. I like big racking and stuff. It's not going to happen today. Um, I'm fascinated with the size of the place. I mean, yeah. you can tell I'm not local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's freaking huge. I've walked miles today already. Yeah, yeah. Even um, mouth is a well. It also goes in the Severn Beach as well, yeah. doesn't it? So. So there's like two different distinct areas as you go down towards the the, the bridges. Yeah. To tell where um, the so that that's Ostway, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, as you come onto Severn Road, you you enter a sort of Severn Beach area. Right. Gotcha. Which, which is, is basically there's no sort of distinguishing. Are difference. you a Severn Beacher? No, I'm no. I'm I'm actually from uh, somewhere up the road in in Bristol. But okay. In, <laughs> you, you like Bristol? Yeah. Why not? It's is not it still much. still a nice place to live? Could, I could be yeah. a lot worse, couldn't it? If Let's be honest. It's, it's, it's got some bad press in certain areas, hasn't it? Yeah, I've just well, been... Um, is it? No, this is third way, isn't it? Yeah, one of the areas I live in is meant to be bad, but since the hospital, South Mead Hospital, has been... Oh, you're down there, yeah. I live right by South Mead Hospital. Right, so. they got a little police station, haven't they? They're, in they're the hospital anymore. grounds. It's been, it's been um, turned into a nursing home. Oh, is it? Oh, in the grounds they have. Yeah, yeah. literally just, just in. Just yeah. inside the grounds on the right. I don't think it's manned side. all the time, though, is it? It's one of their it's not, coffee it's, stops, as it's, I call it's it. Only, yeah, it's yeah. like a 8 a.m. to sort of 8 yeah. p.m. jobby yeah. because they've got the Rolls Royce down by Rolls Royce. They've got big, big police station. See, police station now, now, it's there. funny you mention Rolls Royce. I'll give you a very quick story of how this can be a completely different thing. So. I'm passing Rolls Royce. I'm a fan of the Spitfire and World War Two stuff. Yeah. So I see the. Have you seen the monument? There? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's got the wings of a Spitfire, but the body of a bird. Yeah. So I go and take a couple of pictures of it. Reception's right there. I thought I'll ask them if they've got anything I can take away. Yeah. So I approach the door. And security come out rushing you. <laughs> yeah, but but they tell lies. He said, oh, you're filming personal cars and you're filming bike sheds and all this, that and the other, and this is top secret. I said, hang on a minute, everything that's important is over there. I know, I'm not being funny. I know as well as probably more than most security guards do. You filming in a public, um, even this, if this is technically, technically a private yep. work walkway. If you were asked to leave the property, you'd have to go out to the main road. Exactly. But because there's no restricted access, no sign saying you're not allowed in there, no. you are allowed to walk in there until you are questioned or exactly. asked to leave. Exactly. So I know the sort Do you know of what? Things. It's really nice to know, <laughs> A, somebody that knows that, <laughs> and B, two people that have come out, your shoulders are down, you're relaxed. Yeah, there's no point in being up uptight I'm, about it. What well, it? one of our colleagues was up in London filming the National crime agency yeah yeah and he actually got assaulted by a member of staff oh i, I know there's <laughs> one guy on the youtube um dj or pj audits or well there's like a pj and, and the a dj yeah i think it's the dj pj's one. got the dreadlocks yeah, dreadlocks and one of them got assaulted up at derbyshire county um derbyshire police oh Station. the hq that was dj, yeah, DJ that yeah. was, and that was when he just started hell of but, a payout mind well he's, he's still going through the um thing of uh, civil claim yeah. against them. He's, he's actually at the moment filming a protest on a landfill site. Yeah. He's been up there about three days now. Um, and yesterday, a lorry driver threatened to run him over in front of a policeman. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You, you can't make it up, can you? But yeah. But no, um, well, listen, guys, thank you for interacting. No um, no my, my viewers love nice people. So do yeah. you want to just say your names for the record? My name's Martin. Martin. Shane. Shane, yep. excellent. Cheers, Thank Martin you. and nice Shane. You. What's hey, your channel I'll anyway? Do, I'll if do I that. Can, uh, I'm Expose and Educate. Expose and Educate. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Which Thank is you. exposing people that don't know the law 
and trying to educate them to it. Yeah, no, um, no I, doesn't always go well. As you know, as you can quite easily tell, I, yeah. I know my little bit. Well, I've been up at the bonded warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Um, the manager come out nice as pie and he said to me, would you not put it online? So I said, you know what, because you've asked nicely, See, I won't because I won't, I've got loads of footage. Yeah. One of his colleagues started and I said, you know what, I'll, I'll scrap that. I'll because put it of her, own. she's just balls it up. Yeah. So it's going on. Yeah, no, fair enough. You know, and <laughs> treat me with respect. I always do that. At the end of the day, you're not you know. doing nothing wrong. So it, well, it was a point in being a shitty person. It's, I just said to somebody over in the uh, wine place, he said, I don't get it. I said, we don't expect everybody to get it. You know, it, it takes a lot to do this. For certain people, other people think it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, do you know, when I, when I put a video up and I get the comments, and I'll be totally honest with you, most of them are good. And I like that because they're saying thank you, nice to see that, but what a nice guy, what a sexy looking police officer. And then you've got others, next time I see you, I'm going to punch your face in, and it's like. Yeah, yeah. no, I. So, there is no, no. no. But but yeah, too the reason short. I found this is because I like, I like watching like documentaries on on old stuff, and, and then you, you get suggested videos, and that's how I found sort of. Oh, right, yeah, because it comes up you, in yeah. the bar, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, I'm sure DJ and PJ will like the shout out. So, Lovely. take yes. care, guys. Have Thanks a good. lot. There we go, guys. Martin and Shane, two guys seem to know the crack. Obviously, just interested. So, you know, we love the approach, don't we? That's absolutely fine. So, we're just going to head on back to the car. And uh, if we see anything else on the way of interest, we'll just give it maybe a little 10 minute slot or something. But I'm actually heading off to a police station now, as it will be on the way home. And uh, hopefully we'll get something from them. But from Expose and Educate, down at Avonmouth, I hope you're all well. Thank you to all the returning viewers. We really appreciate the subscriptions. If you're new to the channel, thank you. If you like what you see, please click subscribe. To everybody out there, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're trying to do. And if any of the videos you particularly like, hit the share button. See if we can get a few other people interested and get a few more people knowing the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts surrounding what we do. But for now, expose and educate, take care, stay safe. Catch you on the next one.